Okay, so here we have the golf cart. There, actually, we'll try and keep the sun at our back so that the thing doesn't wash out. So there's a golf cart. Um, we have the contactor connected between B plus. Where's my finger? There we go. B plus and the uh, controller here. We have the other side, B minus, which is uh, connected to the battery B minus and the motor B minus. Uh, so we're actually switching positive on the system. You see the three uh, connections coming out. They're all called M plus. And then we have M plus uh, going to the motor. So that's the, that's the way the power system is connected up. We got our 24 volt DC to DC, our 12 to 24, I guess, on top here. We have uh, connections uh, ready for our 12 volts right here. Uh, I don't see the throttle. Okay, I'll have to go get the throttle. And uh, we've got a contactor over there uh, connected uh, that's ready to be connected up to a 12 volt lead acid battery. That's our ignition switch, if, if you like. Um, in here we have uh, four six volt lead acid cells. So the one over there with a red cable, because that's all we've got, is the most negative of the pack. And then you go positive to negative, positive to negative. And then on this side, you can just barely see the uh, positive coming here, which comes up through the hole here, and that's that's that, that one. So that looks right. Okay, Paul is connecting up the uh, the throttle, which we're going to put up there. Um, the other thing uh, that's important is we've got her up on jacks, or whatever you want to call them. They're up on the wheels aren't on the freaking ground, so it shouldn't take off no matter if we're going backwards or whatever. Um, we have the controller board, which we had tested out before, and we got some screws that are not screwed down. They're just loose. I guess since they're insulating and they're just keeping the board on top of the uh, standoffs, that's not that big a deal. We've got our uh, handy dandy alligator clip connecting the uh, B plus to the board, which gives us our right. current saturation detection? Yeah, uh, desaturation. Desaturation. Okay. And then we've got the chill plate, which is not being liquid cooled presently. We got a whole bunch of metal on the surface that I should be moving because metal moving around on batteries is a bad thing. Here we have our pre-charge resistor. We're just going to connect that across the terminals over here to give it uh, a bit of a pre-charge before we close the contactor. And uh, Paul's just going to go and check the batteries and make sure that we don't have one that's really, really unhappy. So, what do we got there? 24.3. Minus 24, so oh. you just have the probes <laughs> right? right? Um, the contactor connections do not look tight. We're not tightened yet. It doesn't look tight. Okay, so uh, we'll get a hold of a wrench and fix that, and then we're gonna do a test. So there was there wasn't even a spark. That's kind of boring. Um, okay. Twenty-four volts. You know what you're gonna do. Right. So we need to bring a laptop out and uh, program production, and then we're ready to go. Things and yeah. Everything being turned off and then turned on and things work. Well, um, like I said, I'm pretty, pretty confident that the reason I welded the one contactor was because uh, I didn't disconnect the high voltage back. Mm. And when the program is flashed in, the outputs cycle a couple of times. So. Down here, yes, white, white, white. Yeah, mm -hmm. tighten this down just so it doesn't wiggle. This one is probably enough. Okay, yeah, I, I think we'll, we'll do those powered up after, afterwards. Yeah. We're 
we're relatively confident. Well, plus I was, uh, Yep. I was walking around Fry's Electronics last night and I looked at the tripods and it's like, eh. I'm only going to get half an hour's use out of it. Mm. Besides, anybody that cares is, uh, <clears throat> anybody that cares to watch it is not going to throw up because of uh, the Blair Witch thing here. <laughs> That's normal. Will, it, will the uh, USB cable reach to the seat? Maybe. That should be much more comfortable. And you're not going to be able to read the screen on the video anyway, so I'm not even going to try. <laughs> I will shut off the meter though. Please. Batteries do drain. Yep. Oops, I'm not going to sit there just yet. I'm going to back up a little bit here. Get the whole thing in. Us, you need a hood. Look like one of those old time photographers. <laughs> Do you want the uh, controller to be powered up yet? but it's there. Okay. Do you still have to hit play? Yeah. Oh, I didn't do the... You didn't uh, do production? Uh-uh. Should I not do debug? I don't know. Well, uh, for this one, uh, debug is okay, but for, uh, yeah. for the where we're driving around, I really think we need production. It's not going to be a bad thing if I mean we could close the contact device. Well, oh wait, is it zero? I want to check that voltage real quick before. Uh, I was going to just put the resistor on if I can find it, but of course I can't find it. Oh, it's back inside. Ugh. Okay, well, if you want to check it. I mean, the that capacitor doesn't bleed very often or very quick. Yeah. Voltage is is. 21.38. Uh, that's probably close enough. Three volts of surge is going to be okay. Ooh. Okay. We have controller connected. Give it a turn. Yes, give her some throttle and. And there we have the wheel turning. Yes, which is helpful. If you want to go forward. Yeah, going going backwards and steering is uh, is a bit of a challenge. Well, that was pretty easy. I was expecting there. Oh, there's a fault. Let me look that up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you want to hit production code then? Yeah. 
Okay. Can you turn the disconnect the contactor? I will do. There we go. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to take this handy dandy switch that has a male on one side and a female on the other, <laughs> and I'm going to wire it in. Let's see now. Pause. Pro programmer, select programmer, pick it three. Okay. Give me a little warning. Check the device, blah, blah, blah. Make sure you want to do this. Oh. I had left the video on, so some of it's going to be really boring uh, taking a picture of gray chipboard, but... No problem. Magic. Actually, I'm going to go and get the pre-charge resistor. I heard clicks uh, coming out of the controller. Yep. Some more clicks. Yep, that's because it just starts to run automatically when it's in the... I could do the hold and reset, but... No, that's fine. Okay, now we'll just shut off the... Shut off the controller. Okay, um... So I am going to take the opportunity right now to gently put the rest of the screws in. Okay. I'm gonna go Since take this computer off. out of here. Well, I guess I can I can point the camera in the general direction of the screwdriver and see if it Okay that one's snug. Snug. Hopefully I don't drop the screwdriver because that could just be nasty. Yeah, you can't see a whole lot when you get in that shed, can you? <laughs> and I almost dropped the pick kit three for the second time. First time, it, the outer plastic case broke off on the corner, and I took one for the team, and then nothing on the inside got broken. Okay. Alright. So, if you want to power up the controller... Do you want to back it up so we can drive forward out of here? We're, we're off, of, we're, we're still oh, on, right. we're still on top, so we're good. Uh, I'm going to go across here, even though I don't think I need to. Uh, right there. Okay, and then you're going to connecting that one up. So this is on now. Okay, and then we're going to use this button to go. Okay. And we drive away into the sunset. So, throttle. Let's, uh, let's see her again. This time with the release version. And there we go. I would say the balance, the tires need a balancing. <laughs> That's not too likely to happen. So uh, we got to get those chocks out and push the sucker back. And uh, that's actually pretty nice control, I would say. Oh yeah. So I'm going to shut this off. And there we are. So we got it pushed back off the blocks. It's not wanting to go anywhere right now. We pre-charged, we did our, uh, the pack is on, the controller is on, so now we're about to drive. Not with a, with a throttle, but not the throttle that you push with your foot. That throttle. And away we go. Mm -hmm. Want to try it? Sure. Uh, 20, 24 volts is uh, is low, right? Yep. So this motor probably won't go all that fast, 24 volts. You want to hold this? Sure. Is it filming? Yep. I didn't stop it. Let me get a zoom out. 
Rubio. Oh, when you're ready. Huh? What happened? Anything bad? Nothing happened, but it's bad. Oh. Uh, half throttle is the same as full throttle. Oh, okay, yeah, it's so, commanding a thousand amps. Well, it's commanding and a thousand amps, but we have it limited to a hundred battery amps, was it? Oh, is that what we did? I think it was a hundred battery amps. So I don't know whether the batteries can put out more than a hundred amps, or whether we're sagging the batteries real low. I, I really don't know, but uh, it won't go any faster than and that's tw that's twice as fast basically as usually the 12 volt contactor thing so yeah it's it's shorted across basically it's a hundred percent duty so it's well it would be a hundred percent duty if if it's under 100 amps right well it would it would do whatever the duty can in order to try to force the amps to be 100. what we're a hundred but if it can't get to there then it just uh it yep okay uh where do you want um, I don't Because I don't know what we're doing next. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. Like, all of, all of what we've been doing so far has been to get to this point. <laughs> <laughs> now what do we do? <laughs> um, um, do we have any more batteries we could stick in and then see if we uh, can get up to two or three hundred on the highway? Your gel cells, but then they're horribly current limited, right? Yeah, I don't think that would work. I mean, we've got a few more in the solar pack. Do you want to take more of them out? Because we, is there room inside here? We've got room for two more batteries at least in the middle. So we kind of we went from one side to the other. We didn't do anything in the middle, so we can get up to 36 volts anyway. But that's not going to be a whole lot different than. No, uh, it'll just be a tiny bit faster. Unless you want to play with the gain, we were talking about trying to tune on DC. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a pure software change. We'd have to go in the house and just think for a while and then mess around with that one. Okay. Well, That'd be a nice break from the outdoors. Sure, yeah, because it's getting warm. Why don't we do that? Okay. You want to put... Yeah, that's good. Okay. Contactor off and you disconnect the controller. I'll disconnect positive just because that's what I do. <laughs> and we should be good, except that maybe we'll put the cover on because he's going to get poopy. Or do you want to test the temperature? Um, I mean, it's yeah, let's gonna, cover it. It's going to get to like 30, 20, 28, 30, can I? Or, Celsius. You're going to get up to like 90 because it's aluminum in the sun. Yeah. And black components might soak up the heat a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Where did I put my phone? This phone in my hand? Uh, no, the other one. Ah, here we go. This one is doing the audio. Or it's supposed to be doing the audio. Let's see. Is it still doing the audio? Come on, go. Yep. Okay, audio's off. Um, there you go. That one, you 